Day is all about our mamas. Mother's Day is right around the corner and instead of trying to figure out what to buy your mom, I'm giving you a super simple Mother's Day snack idea. I don't know about you, but I always struggle when it comes to figuring out what the heck I'm gonna get my mom for Mother's Day, and my mom is my best friend, so this should be easy. But for the woman who is my most favorite person in the entire world, I don't wanna just buy her a gift. I love giving her homemade gifts, and this year her gift is gonna be something entirely edible. Today we'll be making flour pretzel bites, and I swear these are the most irresistible things ever. You have the salty crunch from the pretzel, but then you also have the sweet flavor from the white chocolate and the M&Ms. It's the perfect springtime snack. The cool thing is, they're the quickest snack to whip up. I was watching Scandal the other day, and all of a sudden I had dozens right in front of me. They're not time consuming by any means. And because they're so simple, this video tutorial is gonna be super short, so so let's get started. To make flour pretzel bites, you'll need pretzel snaps, Wilton candy melts, and M&Ms. If you have pastel colored M&Ms, that works best because of the spring-like colors, but I'll just be using the regular M&Ms. For the equipment, you'll need a small plate lined with wax paper. Now I'm gonna start laying out as many pretzels as I want and or can. Just make sure you lay them out in one single layer. Add one individual white chocolate candy melt in the center of each pretzel. And into the microwave we go. Here's the semi-tricky part. Now because every microwave is different, you'll wanna keep an eye on your first batch of pretzels. I set my microwave between 45 and 50 seconds for my plate. And you wanna heat the melts just long enough so they're at the beginning stage of being melted. They should be soft to the touch and melted just enough so you can press an M&M into it, but not too melty so the white chocolate is running off the sides of the pretzel. Voila! Go ahead and place whichever color M&M you choose directly in the center of the candy melt for the flower center. And to make flower petals, just add six other M&Ms. You can add the same color, different colors. The colors can be completely random. Just have fun with it. My only tip is to place the M side down. And because they're already on wax paper, I'm just gonna leave the pretzels here for about an hour to let the white chocolate set completely. Or if you're in a rush, go ahead and place them in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Now once the white chocolate is set, you wanna store them in an airtight container until you're ready to eat them. And that's it. These guys are so easy. Seriously, the most perfect thing to snack on because these guys satisfy both that salty and sweet craving that we all desire. And even though we made these for Mother's Day, who says we can't indulge in a couple? Mmm. Oh yeah. I am one happy camper. <laughs> you know, I feel like Reese's Pieces would probably taste really good on top of the white chocolate and the pretzel instead of just using the M&Ms. I'll have to try it next time. Or if you guys want to try it, let me know what you think in the comments section below. I feel like it'd be a really yummy fall and harvesty dessert. And speaking of the comments section, let me know what your mama thought about these flower pretzel bites. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the latest PLB video tutorials. And don't forget to head over to prettylittlebakers.com for other treat of the week recipes. Have a wonderful Mother's Day. Shower your mom with love and affection. Give her lots of hugs. Tell her how much you love her. And I'll see y'all next time.